modeling phase transformation, transitions transformations in, in materials, especially starting from electronic structure and atomic structures, is really a challenge. Uh, and, it, and it requires kind of a multi-scale effort. You kind of have to build it up. And the expertise level uh, is also difficult to kind of contain in one research group. So it has to be very collaborative. So we, we kind of have to collaborate with other people who work at different length scales. And, and I think University of Michigan itself has essentially all the different length scales and has exceptional expertise in, in every single length scale. So it's, it's great to work on that in, in this environment here. One of the things I work on is lithium-ion battery research. And the people that work on lithium-ion batteries are interested in things like how stable they are, how long it takes to charge them, how long it takes to discharge them, uh, how safe they are. And so we can use uh, really big computers to calculate the kinetic uh, and thermodynamic properties of different materials to see if they would make good candidates for battery electrodes, for example. So what I do, uh, starting from the electronic structure and atomic scale, is, is really quantum mechanics to kind of understand how the electrons behave and how the atoms bond, and, and take that to the next level in, a, in kind of a discipline called statistical mechanics, which is basically trying to take the information at the atomic scale and coarse grain it, uh, basically taking imp uh, suitable averages to get macroscopic behavior, kind of average uh, behavior, that then gets implemented in, in a more continuum scale uh, description, which is basically solving partial differential equations. When you're dealing with uh, batteries, what happens is when you charge the battery or discharge the battery, lithium ions move in and out of the electrode structures. And when you add uh, lithium atoms, which are not normally in the structure, to a different host structure, it can change uh, the way that things want to arrange inside that structure. So sometimes this results in a phase transition, and you get something that looks different than it looked before. And even if it looks very similar, it might still have very different properties. Uh, and these properties could also change as a function of temperature. So for example, you can have a situation where when you add some lithium ions to your material, it doesn't work very well anymore because things can't move as well. Uh, and so that make a really bad battery. So we try to study these things to see how to, we can come up with the best lithium ion batteries. Okay, so understanding phase transformations would probably will revolutionize uh, energy storage because we need to have high capacities, we need to have cheap materials, uh, we need to explore much more complex uh, reaction mechanisms, basically a reaction of one uh, redox reactions. Um, and, and these all involve uh, compositional changes, which means we're dealing with uh, uh, radical phase transitions. One of the most exciting things that I personally work on and my lab mates also work on is actually developing new methods for doing computationally intensive uh, problem solving. And so it's really cool when you can sort of use a program to calculate some properties and go, oh, well, I know how this material is going to behave just by looking at some numbers. But it's even cooler when you can write your own um, software to do things that haven't been done before. And so we're currently working on some really exciting methods that ha are used to solve problems that were not even considered solvable in the past. Understanding phase transitions is, um, is worth the effort. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the most important things in material science. It determines everything about material science. It determines all the properties that you end up having with it, or a lot of them at least. Um, and it determines a lot of the behavior of modern devices. Um, it uh, determines degradation mechanisms of materials. So it's really important in corrosion as well, which is a very important aspect of, of materials. Um, also, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating discipline or, or, or phenomena. Um, it's, I would say, one of the most beautiful phenomena in, in, in nature, in, in material science especially. Um, and and it integrates all of the other kind of disciplines that we're forced to understand in, in material science. So it, it relies, uh, understanding phase transformation uh, relies on a thorough understanding of thermodynamics. It relies on a thorough understanding of a variety of other kinetic properties like transport, uh, interface migration. Um, also mechanics plays a very important role during phase transitions. So it's all the integration of all these sub-disciplines of material science uh, kind of gets put together uh, to, to rationalize what's happening during a phase transition.